All right, well, this is another one of those 2013 games that I was basically thinking about doing a spotlight for, but I ultimately felt that this one basically failed on account of the fact that it, like, you know, was very complex and all, but um, it sort of lacked having, like, you know, any real feeling of, like, you know, um, how can I put this? Complexity to it? Basically, there's, like, no depth to this point. And that's, like, the real, like, you know, problem I basically had. But, um, I'll basically play it here, and we'll basically, like, see what depth we can basically find, and just show it off. So, here's the readme. Let's maximize it for a moment. This is a game for 7 DRL 2013. You are an agent of the Federation, sent to the planet Yarna as a spy and saboteur to destroy a maximum number of enemy factories before... Creering start second phase. Full skill invasion. You are nano optimized. Nanobots in your blood can heal your wounds and temporarily boost your reflexes. Complete missions. Bomb factories survive and don't kill people without purpose. I suggest reading help in main menu. It's very short. Alright, so basically that's like, you know, uh, the Rumi file basically like, um, explain what's basically going on. So, they did like this one, they're basically like, you know, um, you know, you're basically James Bond, so to speak. Except, like, you know, um, I guess this could also be, like, the reverse uh, of James Bond, you're like, you know, the, like, you know, Soviet basically coming to, like, the, the Western nation, basically, like, you know, sabotage it, and, like, you know, the Soviets basically invade, that could be a thing as well. It doesn't really, like, you know, tread good or bad here, but whatever. Alright, so, let's jump into the game here. So, Liberation of Yarna. Um, this is a fairly big window, so that's nice for once. Alright, so let's go to help. So, colors. Uh, okay, so I just have to, you know, do this. Alright, so, enemies are shown with symbols. The color of a symbol shows profession. So, blue is basically police, dark green is as a guard, and green is a civilian. Background color of symbol shows status. So, black, none, normal. Dark red, chasing you, but hasn't seen your face. Red, seen your face. Yellow, asking you to show documents. Cyan, alerted. So, basically the idea here is like just basically different alert status for like, you know, the enemies. So, um, cops might know that you're around, but you may not know exactly you that they have to basically be searching for. Or they may have like seen you, but they haven't like, you know, seen your face. So, you have no idea, like, you know, um, who you basically are. So, here's the keys, basically, we have, like, you know, arrows or numpad to move around. Shooting is F to target, then F to shoot. Melee hits and object smashing, bump to target. Using objects, bump to target. Uh, mode switching, so activate, deactivate, battle mode with, F, uh, with B, sniper mode with S. Uh, other commands, look around, X or L, also move on uh, mouse. Uh, check his radar with R. Alright, so, Nasters are powerful mediums with super how, uh, human powers. They can cause wounds from afar, teleport, or paralyze you. They are telepath telepathic, so they always know you are an enemy. Luckily, they are usually busy with other things, so you can catch them unaware and with a luck kill with a uh, first shot, so to speak. Uh, we have modes, battle mode, very fast speed and dodge, uses manuf manufactors, energy proteins. Sniper mode, low speed, can't move, very high accuracy. And then regeneration mode, Nano um, effectors seal your wounds automatically. They require protein and energies for operating. So, we have different keys and stuff like that. I wonder how we get the refrigeration mode, if this is on Mac or not. Alright, so tips. Police checks documents of every suspicious civilian, including you. Your fake documents will pass most unintended checks, but if police is already alert, pass chances of passing check are lower. Nano effectors in your blood require a decent amount of energy to operate, level of energy displayed at the right bottom corner of your game window. You can replenish it using food found in shops or houses. The optimal way of killing large amounts of enemies is to come close to them, enter battle mode, and melee or shoot them. Make sure you have enough proteins. Murders are evil, but this is a necessary evil. Each successful mission will save thousands of lives and souls. So, basically you're killing like, you know, people now so you don't have to like, you know, uh, see them die in like the battle that comes you know, after, I guess, is the idea here. Alright then, so, let's just get to it, shall we? So, let's go like this. We'll go new game. Alright, so the mission. 
Bomb the biotech factory. Find the factory using the R key. So that's our radar base pops in. Set up four bombs. Escape from factory before explosion and hide survive for two hours. Alright, so that's the idea here, I guess. Alright, so we're basically in a game here now. Um, battle mode is inactive. Sniper rifle is inactive. Nano regeneration is inactive. Alright, so we're in the city of Polvorasha. There's 450 civilians, 83 guards, and 268th um, police. So basically the idea here is like, you know, we're trying to like, you know, avoid police where possible so we, have, we don't alert them and stuff like that. If they get alerted, but like, you know, to our presence, then like, you know, honestly, I don't want to basically like, you know, um, stick around for the most part. Alright, so you check your the radar. So we have to basically move to the southeast in order to basically like, you know, plant this bomb. So we'll start going this way, I guess. Is this a shop? Uh, we're just going to press escape to this. I thought this might be a shop, I guess it's not, so... Now, no bother, like, you know, here's like a police officer right here, so policeman Drew, his behavior is basically a patrol. He'll basically, like, you know, he'll possibly call me over if he basically wants to talk to me, but, you know... If he doesn't, we're just going to pass him by. As you can see, there's a couple more police officers there. Alright, so, policeman Chaz orders you to show documents. So, let's let him come over here. Did I show my documents? What's happening? So, how do I show my documents? That's the thing here, I guess. Oh, okay, so I guess we just show our documents there. Is this, like, down too far? Is that the thing? No. So, there's basically no indication, I guess, that, like, you know, the cops basically say, like, they're checking your documents or anything like that. So, you have to um, be careful of that, I guess. And that's the thing, right? There's, like, you know, little things like that that, like, that can make the game, like, so much better. <coughs> um, by the way, I'm going the wrong way here, so... I guess we'll just follow this cop along here for a little bit. Nope, you want to basically, like, you know, see my documents now, so let's go to them. And that's, like, to, you know, basically how the game sort of operates. Basically, you have to, like, you know, basically keep your cover as long as possible while you're basically trying to, like, you know, do your objectives here. Uh, Alright, so, northeast, southeast, northeast, southeast, we're basically, like, you know, in line with the building I'm basically looking for, I guess. Alright, we're good to go. I'm guessing like this building is probably the one we're probably going into in a moment. Now note that basically in this window here, basically see it like the bomb, right? It basically says like you know uh, the time, the city status, wounds, proteins, and stuff like that. Alright, we're getting closer. Oops, show your documents, okay. Oh, this is southwest. I've actually gone too far here, so... Alright. That's good to know. Apparently, like, you know, uh, if it's multiple police officers, they won't necessarily be like, oh, one guy searched you already? No, I can get to search you as well, so... You want to be very careful of, like, multiple cops around you, I guess.
So yeah, this white building right here is the one I want to basically get into, I guess, so... We'll have to find our way in. What's this stuff over here, by the way? There's a dress right over there. There's this uh, assistant right there. Time behavior. Bedroom. So that's probably a house right there. I'm guessing this is the building I need to go into. We're just going to wait for everyone to get out of sight here. This is a, a crime. People, um, and people see you. Are you sure? See, I asked something. I have to be very careful like you might commit a crime, so... This is a concern crime, but nobody will see you. Are you sure? Okay, let's enter. Smash the locked door. You commit a crime, so... No one's alerted you yet to the fact that I've done a crime, but, you know... That's about to change. So, a tree in the barrel, factor hallway. We got ourselves a policeman right here. There's guys right here. So, yeah, these guys have been alerted to the fact I'm basically in here now. So, it's go time. So, we're going to enter battle mode. Battle mode is now active. So, you basically see, like, the, you know, the geese guys here. So, pop. We crash the skull of the guard, Jaden. Guard, Jaden dies. Pop. You stop the heart of guard Traven. So, policeman Carmen, remembered your face. And you see like, these guys, like, you know, uh, prepare to die. He orders me to drop my gun. Pow. So you crash the skull of, like, police Cameron. Smack. There goes guard Taylor. And I guess that's basically it for in here. So let's turn off bow mode. Oh, I killed a citizen there, but oh well, that's fine. I find it funny that it basically says, like, please basically know my face because I technically killed a police officer that, like, you know, was in here, but whatever. Who's that guard? Alright, so you set up the vacuum bomb. So those are the bombs we're basically trying to set here. Um, the rest of my happy place to the north and northeast, so we just have to go up this way, I guess. The citizen dies. So you stop the heart, you cut the throat, etc., etc. Uh, are these all citizens? I don't, but I don't really need to kill citizens because they're all going to die in a blast here in a moment, so whatever. Him, do I need to kill, so. How? So I'm shot by this guy, but whatever. Bam. There he goes, he died. Yeah, I don't need to really kill these guys, because, like, you know, they aren't necessarily going to, like, you know, tell anyone when they're basically being blown up by a bomb. Uh, I need to go to the southeast here, so... Except the vacuum bomb. I need to go to the northwest now. This guy's a police officer. Let's just kill him. And yeah, it, is, it did say, like, you know, the fastest way to kill these guys is just to, like, you know, William, so. Northwest and northeast, so, okay, let's go this way. I just felt like doing it, because why not? So we're both northwest at this point. Oh, there's a guy right there. Notice that in bound mode is really hard to basically tell. Um, who's basically an enemy or not. They basically like all look the same, right? So... There's a citizen, there's a citizen when I'm actually outside battle mode, but you know, can't really tell why I'm in battle mode. Alright, so there's one right there. Three tiles north. 
Uh, is it possible to spawn in the wall? No, it's just right there. Okay, that's fine. So place a bomb right here. All right, so explosion in a minute. So that's basically a victim from this building as fast as possible. Because, you know, it sees like it's, t it's counting down. Let's kill this guy. Kind of in my way, right? So, Let's kill this policeman. It's probably easier to kill these guys than anything else, so. Obviously, it's not ideal to be killing all these like, policemen right here, but you know. So, someone remember my face. He tried to shoot me, but missed. What's the stuff in here now? Who is a refrigerator here? I found some proteins. Um, you found some proteins in you. Awesome. So about this guy's in bowel behavior right now, but whatever. Oh, that's, uh, that guy says a guard, apparently, so. Yeah, watch out for Stump Road, because basically like, you can be, be shot if you're not careful, so. Kill him. Oh, am I still alive? Oh, I died. Well, you remember it as a hero. So basically, like, you know, I was caught and killed in, like, you know, the first place there. You get basically the idea, though. Uh, we'll try that again to see if I can get a little bit, a little bit farther. So we'll go new game. So we got a bomb the biotech. And this time we're in the city of Saradrelful. So, okay, that's a thing. We're going to go to the southeast this time. Are we here? Yeah, we're basically already on top of it, so... We have to find a door to this place. All right, let's go talk to this policeman. Now, this is part of like the random nature of this game, by the way. Sometimes you'll have like you know. The building will show up right away. Sometimes these will catch you right away. There we go. And no one sees me, so we'll enter. So I committed a crime, and there's a bunch of people right here. So we got guard, 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 and a tree in a barrel. Okay. We enter battle mode. 
and pop, pop. So no one's been alerted yet, apparently, but you know, these are all just basic guards, right? They're not like the policemen. So there we go, we kill all these guys. So police have detected crimes, but they don't know, like, you know, specifically that I'm in here. Citizen. Citizen. Alright, so by the way, if, well, I'm basically in Balmo, I'm basically like losing, like, you know, proteins here, so I'll watch out for that. Uh, where do I need to go in here? There's a bomb I need to place to the east. off you. On that part, it's very advantageous to sort of like plant bombs and like you know near a door so you don't have to like you know run as far. So one's to the southeast, the rest of it is to the south northwest. So west, northeast, northeast. So okay, let's go here. Plant a bomb. I need to go west and northwest. That's a guard. I set the vacuum bomb. The guard. Um, east and southeast. Where is this other place I need to go? East would basically mean that, like, you know, it's on the same level as me here. 15 towels over. Nine meters east, eight meters east. Oh, it's right there. Someone must have been standing on it. So now I just have the one near the door, and then we'll be fine. So the police detected crime spot where they haven't actually seen me, so that'll make things a little bit easier for me. All right, there's going to be an explosion in a moment, so we'll just, you know, X, of course. Oh, he wants to basically try and um, check my documents, so let's go over here a little bit. Now, while these guys basically are, like, suspicious like this, they are more prone to see, like, you know, detect that you're basically, like, you know, um, basically trying to, like, you know, uh, do stuff, right? So, let's go battle mode. Pop! So, some of us remember my face, but whatever. There's a lot of cops around here.
And note there's going to be an explosion in a moment, so... We may have to get into a battle here in a moment, we'll see. Alright, so we got lucky there. He wasn't, like, you know, able to detect that. I was basically the, the saboteur here. I don't like the fact that you're trying to stop me now. You hear a gigantic explosion! Boom! So there goes the you know biotech facility. Oh, someone discovered that I'm basically a fake here, so these guys now are hostile to me. So pop, there goes this guy. All these guys here. Uh, that's a citizen. That's a citizen. Probably kill these guys, so kill a few. Kill off him. off this guy. Are you a cop? Yeah, you're a cop. You're probably going to see this guy, but whatever. Oh, we've just ran proteins, by the way, so... Now I just have to sort of, like, you know, just hang out for a minute and 20 seconds without, like, being caught. You're not suspicious of me yet, so you may not catch me. Oh, this guy discovered I'm a, I'm a fake here, so pop, there goes him. All right, so uh, we're not in great, like you know, a great state here, but you know, not dead yet. These addresses in here. I smash this window. Smash these dresses because I feel like it. What's in here? There's a sink. There's a bathroom. We're just gonna stay in here for a little bit. I mean, I just have to hide, right? So, why why risk myself here? All right, so mission complete. Civilian casualties were 66. Militarians casualties were 24. Congratulations for preparing our next mission. So, our next mission is basically to kill the Nasters delegation. Find two Nasters using Bioscanner R and lure them and kill. Use sniper rifle or melee as they are very dangerous. So basically got ourselves like an assassination mission here. Um, just basically Nasta to the southwest. Okay, so we got some distance to travel here. So these guys can detect me. It's like, you know... I get too close to him, so let's watch out for that. But that's only if they basically, like, you know, know that I'm basically there, right? So. I guess this is like a house right here, probably, so. Nope, someone's northeast of me now. Oh yeah, these guys can teleport, by the way, so.
That might make it very hard to catch. That's a lot of blue in there. I guess it's like a warehouse in there. Very two meters to the west. All right, so we're getting closer. All right, serious so um, the Nasta maybe. Nasta Cobe. So I guess this guy can basically like, you know, um he's able to like hit me through a wall maybe. How do they know my face basically here? That's kinda of annoying. Okay, we got one target down. Now, the other guy's going to be, you know, take forever to get to, but whatever. Just going to go in here. That's an empty refrigerator. That's annoying. Nope, oh, kill this guy. Alright, so when you have a sniper rifle set, you basically can't move. That's good now. They know my face, these guys. Nope, oh, he shot this guy to death. Cool. That's empty apparently. I should probably check these fridges before I like just charging these buildings, but whatever. Let's go up this way. Basically I'm trying to avoid cops at this point because like they know I'm here. So they're very like, you know, actually trying to kill me now. Some of them. It looks like these guys will only like you know um, detect my face if I basically get really up close and personal to them. So that's good to know. Northeast. So, note to self, when I basically, like, you know, try to kill these guys, it's better to, like, you know, Oh, is he ready about the crime, this guy over here, so, that's annoying. We're gonna kill this guy.
don't have much time for bell mode, unfortunately, so. Kill you. And shoot this guy. We'll see if I can basically get through the second mission here without dying. Sixty meters to northeast. Ooh, here we go. She's a shop down here, so there are some proteins. Can I shoot this guy because there's like, you know, stuff in the way as a thing, right? So. I was just getting here and just. Me you know, mess this guy up. So he's dead. Yeah, there's lots of refrigerators in here to like, you know, eat up with, so... They know I'm in here now, but whatever. Who's that? I'm not gonna outrun this, these guys. Oop, I took a hit there. All right, Balmo time. Pop. Goes you. Pop. Goes you. And you know, that's a basic policeman over there, so. There we go. Kill this guy. I'm off proteins again, of course, because, like, you know, why not? Now, what I've noticed, by the way, is that apparently, like, you know... Um... You basically, like, don't have, like, any, like, you know... Chance to stop regenerating if you don't want to basically, like, you know, save your, like, you know, stuff for uh, other things, but whatever. Northwest. Is he in this building right here, I wonder? Kill you. Yeah, this guy's basically in his building right here, by the way, so. Hmm. So he's four. He's really in his building right here. Alright.
There is right there. So if I step here. All right, mission complete. I basically killed off the NASA before they got me. So um, congratulations is prepared for the next mission. So all right, so yeah, basically you get the idea here. Um, basically, also like what it's basically all about. Like you bond the, the you know, it's basically like a um, a mission based type of like roguelike is like you know what this like game is basically all about. And there really isn't a whole lot basically more to it than like you know you enter like you know different like you know augmentation phases and like you know um well you just basically saw basically what it is so I don't really need to explain it to you but the thing about this mission is that it could have been a lot more interesting I think if it had like you know maybe some ways to like you know sort of like stop policemen from like remembering you uh, maybe have like art tricks and stuff like that there's basically been like art stuff relics that like you know have been submitted that like had a little bit more going for them. And it's going to be like another like role I'm basically going to be spotlighting. It's like you know where you're basically like a um, a James Bond type of character that basically goes around like you know stopping bad guys um, and stuff like that. That basically has a lot more going for it as well, like you know clues and stuff like that. But anyhow, hope you guys basically enjoyed the video. Um, this was basically like you know the liberation of like Yarna or uh, whatever basically like the title of this game basically is. I'm not really sure what this is. Yeah, there it is, liberation of Yarna. Basically, you can actually see right there, but whatever. Um, all right, so. That's basically it for this one here. And so you can actually see what I basically right here. So you can literally read it right there. Liberation of Yarn. That's the name of this game. Alright, well. I hope you guys basically enjoyed. And yeah, take care.